Get Jasper. I was trying to get the dog out of your way. Let me put those dogs up. That'll help. Good afternoon, everybody. Me and Jocelyn here. And we're excited. We're actually going to get a new horse today. Um, it's not a very far trip to go get this one. It's actually right across the street. Uh, a good friend of ours had a horse that they've had for quite a while now, but they just haven't been using it as much as they thought they would. And with hay prices rising like this, they don't want to be feeding a horse that um, they aren't using as much as they wish they were. So we're going to go ahead and go get this horse from them and show you guys just exactly what this horse is. It's a pretty nice horse. They let their kids ride it around. And I'm excited, honestly, to see what it is. I've seen him ride it around town every once in a while, but I'm excited to try it out for myself. Also, there is someone who has reached out to us, um, interested in looking for a horse. And we're curious if this horse could be a good match for this person. So we're gonna go ahead and test this horse out, make sure it's right for basically anyone. We want this horse to be ready for anyone. This person who has reached out to us is going to be new into horses if they do get this horse. So we want to make sure it's just a good horse that will be able to take care of this guy as he learns how to ride horses and be around horses. So we're excited to go ahead and try this horse out today. Ready? Yep. Take him home, we'll get him brushed off. Kind of mess with him a little bit today. As much time as we got, we'll keep messing with him. All right, well, we got him home, tied up to the hitching post. We're gonna just go ahead and brush him off. It snowed just a little while ago. You can still see there's some on the ground here in the shady spots. Um, so he's got a little bit of mud on him, but we're gonna go ahead and get him brushed off, get him looking good. And then, um, like I said earlier, depending on time, we'll get to do as much as we can in the time that we got, but we'll have a little bit of fun messing with him um, to see what he is what he can do um, and if he fits the needs of um, the guy who's looking at maybe buying him. So we'll enjoy as we brush him off and get him all looking good and then we'll have some fun with him. Oh, 
everybody. Olight surprises me again and again with their opportunities and options of light. This here is a unique light. It's not just a light, it's actually a light and a laser pointer. It points a green laser that can shine very far. Um, and I've enjoyed it, like even while I'm out here at night, I can point up um, at something. And it right here under this light, it's kind of hard for you to see. But when I'm in the dark and this light's off or something, I can point at something and it'll even look like I'm pointing right at a star. And it's pretty impressive just how far this beam can shine. Um, so this light, like I said, you can see it right here on this grain sack. We're down here feeding the pony. Uh, but this light is impressive, just the, the laser pointer part especially. I really enjoy that. Uh, it's kind of fun to mess around with and play with. Um, along with the laser, you can flip this switch right here over to the light and then you turn on your light and there's there's low then there's medium high and then you can turn it to its extra high setting by double clicking the center button and then it puts out up to 1000 lumens at one time that is very impressive and it's about the size of a pocket knife and it's actually meant to go in your pocket. It's got this clip right here. So you can easily put it in your pocket. It sits very well in there. Um, and charges just like a lot of the O lights. It has a magnetic charger that clips in or connects right here by magnet. And then it charges very well, very quick. Um, it also shows you its charge right here. Right now we're sitting at four bars. It shows you all four bars and it doesn't leave those lights on um, just to save battery. But um, this light has been very, very impressive. I've really enjoyed it. Now, if you guys wanna go get your own Olight, one like this or any other option, go now to the Olight website, get yourself an Olight and order using the promo code FARM66. Um, again, that's FARM66 and you'll get a discount on your Olights. Man, it's cold out here. It's freezing. How's it going? It's going good. That's good. I'm all cleaned off. Handful of conkers out. He's got a lot in his tail, but um, probably have to get those out another time. Yeah, probably after school today. I got late basketball practice today, so I can come look on again. Well, he's looking good. Well, guys, he's done awesome so far. Um, we don't have much time left anymore, but I, like I said, I do have late practice, so I'm gonna get to come home and work with him a little bit more later. Uh, as of right now, I'm gonna go ahead and go tie him up, up by the house out of the snow so he doesn't have to sit here in some cold snow. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and go tie him up at the hitching post up by the house. And then here in about an hour and a half or two hours, I'll be home to keep working with him. So please watch and keep continuing watching as I get back from school and get to work with him. I'm hoping I'll get to saddle him and maybe ride him later too. Thank you guys for watching so far and keep having a wonderful day. How many of you think this knot's gonna last all afternoon? I think it will. Wow. I think it will. Looks all funky, but it's easy to undo. Hey. All right. So we continue. So Blake tied this horse up and Ray just showed up. So guess what? He's gonna do some trimming on this horse for us. I don't even know the horse's name yet because he is brand new. Or she, is it a gilding or a mare? Uh, a mare. She is brand new on the farm. So I'm gonna show you Ray trimming her up today. 
We are super excited he was able to come today and check her out for us. Here's our cute little puppies. I think they're talking Navajo and I have no clue what they're saying. <laughs> not too bad. He's all right. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, it's not too bad. Good. Get Jasper. I was trying to get the dog out of your way. Let me put those dogs up. That'll help. All right, guys, while well, I am home now, I am gonna finish working with this mare. She has been tied up this afternoon. Actually, when I got home, she was, well, she was still here, but I had to catch Eho. So Eho's tied up here too now. So they're both tied up right here by each other. I'm gonna go ahead and get her all ready. She's had her feet trimmed while I was gone. Um, Ray Sosi came by and trimmed up her feet. You see, they look good. Nice and trimmed up. Took off about an inch at some places. So she really needed the trim, but looks good. Excited to go saddle her up and try her out. Okay, well, we've gotten this girl all saddled up. She's looking good, all cleaned off. I haven't taken the cockleburrs out of her mane yet. You can still see some up by her ears, as well as in her tail. So that's another thing I need to work on. But right now, I'm actually gonna go ahead and put a bridle on and take her for a little ride. 
During this ride, I'm not really gonna try to push her hard. More, I'm just gonna kinda test her, see if it's easy enough for me to move her around to where I think that anyone could move her around. Ultimately, I believe a horse is totally finished when you could throw any person on them, whether it's their first time riding or if they've rode a ton of times and have the horse be able to do anything, whether it's um, lope if you wanna lope, trot if you wanna trot, or just walk around. So I'm gonna go ahead and just try walking her around, maybe get her into a lope, um, but really just take it slow and easy so that I know that someone is safe on her for sure. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. Grab a bridle and get on her. Well, she's done amazing so far. Stops well, backed up very well. I was impressed with that. Neck reins, huh. neck, neck reins pretty well. Pretty willing to go anywhere. I haven't really had to ask too much. She'll go as soon as I ask. But also she's not in a rush to get anywhere. She. She is impressing me right now. She's doing good. Well, everybody, she's impressing me. She's doing good. There's a few things here and there that uh, she could use a little bit of work on. Um, one thing, she's she does neck rain. It's not anything in very, um, I don't know how to put it. It's not anything fancy. She's a little bit um, strong headed. When you try to steer, especially when she is a little bit worked up or you're trying to get her to cross a ditch or something like that, um, she doesn't respond very well to neck reining. But when you switch the plow rein a little bit or just kind of pull on one side of the rein, um, just as a little bit of extra pressure, she does do very well with that. Um, so it's easier, easy to correct her. When I'm out here just kind of riding in the open, like I am right now, it's very easy to neck crane her and she does well, but um, it is just in those um, tight situations or when she's kind of got something else on her mind. Like right now, um, she was just, we were walking past the gate where we came in and she tried to go that way, but but even then I was able to pull her away from it just by neck craning. Um, 
besides that, honestly, she's doing very well. Uh, I, I really am impressed. She's doing great. Super calm, very gentle, nice horse. Good girl. Great job. Well, that was very impressive. Just barely. As you saw, we were trotting some circles and she was doing amazing. And I was controlling her with just one hand, um, able to put pressure where she needed it. And she was um, receiving the pressure very well, acting exactly how I'd want her to. Um, she seriously did amazing. Sorry. I'm Oh man, that's scary. I was wanting to turn around and see where this ambulance was at. It's actually headed up our road. So hopefully everything's all right up there. Maybe I'll say a quick prayer or something, but I'm gonna get off and do that real quick. Pray things are all right. In a small community like this, you know everybody, so it's, um, especially sad when you see an ambulance headed up the road from your own house so i'll be right back well anyways she has done phenomenal i am very impressed i'm excited to tell my dad how she's done and maybe she will um suit the needs of uh the person who's reached out to us looking for maybe buying a horse so we'll have to see exactly what they're looking for um, and if, and if she does meet what they're looking for, then I'm excited. I think it, that'll be a very good home for her. Um, if not, she will be looking for a home eventually. Um, but as of now, I'm enjoying riding her. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Have a wonderful day. If you haven't hit that notification bell or subscribed yet, please go and do that. When you hit that notification bell, it notifies you whenever we have any new content coming out so you guys can be the first to watch um, any new content thank you so much for watching today have a good one and until next time